Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing really well. And today I wanna to share with you a practice pad drill. It's an exercise that I've had in my head all week and I just had to get it out of my system and share it with you guys. So the idea here is that we are going to be using a particular rudiment, which is a paradiddle, a very standard rudiment, which everyone should know. But this week I've been thinking about how you can take rudiments like a paradiddle, which is based around the number eight, and learning how to fit it within other numbers, okay? So if you imagine a bar of 4-4, four, four, where you have four quarter notes per bar, very simple stuff. And then imagine taking an odd number, like the number 5, and then doubling that number, which most people are comfortable with. They're quite comfortable with going from a particular number and then doubling it. The sensation with your hands is quite simple. So you're going from the number 5 up to the number 10, okay? So essentially quintuplets up to some sort of 10 stroke per beat. Now, I've been thinking about that 10 stroke and what you could do to fit a rudiment within it to make it work. So if we took something like the paradiddle, which is based around the number 8, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, and then to add it up to 10, we're just going to simply add right, left at the end. So we're adding two additional notes. And that's allowing us to reach the number 10 before it can then cycle around comfortably. So the first pattern, the first exercise I want to show you is a paradiddle, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, plus right, left to create a 10, okay? So if you look in the description of this video, you'll find a PDF where you can follow along, and we're going to be checking out example one right now. It's based upon 10 16th notes, but to be fair, it could be 10 of anything. It doesn't have to be a subdivision. It can just be 10 of whatever notes you want. Um, so let's check it out on the pad. It's definitely a more advanced drill, so take this one carefully, and also be careful of where the accents lie, because that will help us bring it together a little later on. Let's check it out. Okay, so now that you've got the core idea down, the 10 hits that we need to complete this drill, if you look at exercise two, we've got it all in context. So we're back into 4-4, four, four, and we're seeing two beats worth of quintuplets. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then what we're seeing on the third and fourth beat is this 10 stroke using the paradiddle plus two. And that is, of course, the theme of this video. It's taking a rudiment and then adding something onto it to create a higher number. And for all we care, that higher number could be 10, it could be 12, it could be 14, it could be 18, whatever you like. I just had it in my head all week that I wanted to go from an odd number like five up to its equivalent double, which is 10. So when you put this together, this is definitely a naughty drill. I'd be really, really careful because the quintuplet is doing an accent on the numbers. But when you start doing the paradiddle plus two, the accents are going to throw you around the grid. So the 10 stroke is a little bit hard to stick to the metronome, okay? So let's listen. I'm going to start it slow and then show you it faster as well. And it's really, really good for just programming these hands for some more advanced rhythms. So check it out. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. So I didn't play it to a metronome, um, but if you were to play it to a metronome, I'd recommend starting somewhere between 60 and 70 BPM, just so that you get the understanding of the five against the tens, because it is a little bit unusual to do something like that. It's definitely something that you should aspire to do, working out with these odd numbers, because you know a triplet is a great entry into an odd number, but by the time you get to five, sevens and nines, life does become a little bit more peculiar. So I hope you enjoyed the drill. Like I said, I've, been ha I've had it in my head all week. I just had to get it out and share it with you guys. I hope you dig it, and I hope it inspires you to figure out some of your own combinations where you take a fairly standard rudiment, like 
um, paradiddles or double strokes and you learn to add things onto it to create a number that you're happy with and to breed a little bit of creativity. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like and subscribe. And of course, leave a comment below if you got confused with anything or if you dig the drill. Anyway, I appreciate your time and I'll catch you real soon.